say you're in an airport and you're getting ready to travel and you got your luggage, you're in the you're in the line to check your baggage and everything, and you look and in front of you there's this guy, and he is totally overloaded. He's got like suitcases and boxes and a couple of briefcases and you, you can't help yourself. You, you you go to him and say, "Man, are you moving? You must be moving, right?" He goes, "No, nah, just a weekend getaway, just getting out of town for a couple of days." Why, what's all this stuff for? Well, well, I mean, oh, like this suitcase here. That's the suitcase I took to Cancun. That time my wife and I were going to try to patch things up, and then we got there and I caught her um, making out with one of the one of the bellboys. Okay. Um, what what about that greed up old briefcase there? Oh yeah, that was. I had this job, and the boss was 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 a jerk, and he mistreated me, and then he ended up firing me for something that wasn't my fault. Um, what, what, that box? Oh yeah, that, that stuff from my room when I was a kid. See, my parents always loved my, my daughter, my sister more than me. And so, I, I, that, that's just a lot of meaningful stuff. And you're taking on a weekend getaway. Yeah. And you want to say, dude, you're an idiot, but you don't because you're a little bit polite. But, in the back of your mind, you're saying, but I would never do that. Well, Mark eleven thirty five, 35, Jesus says, when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. You know what? A lot of us carry a lot of baggage when we choose not to forgive other people. When we hold grudges from years and years ago. When we carry the suitcases and briefcases and boxes of all of the negatives that we carry in our brain. So maybe today, ask God if there's somebody you need to forgive. Somebody you need to forget about. A pain you need to quit carrying. A briefcase you need to leave behind. Because it's easier to travel when you only carry the stuff you need for right now. And that's today's Jumpstart. Hey, I want to take just a second and invite you out Saturday to our very first Seek First to Understand event. We're going to be doing these quarterly. We're going to be looking at the topics that are really shaping our culture and the church needs to be addressing. And we're going to be talking about how the church can be the church in this culture. And this first one, we're going to be looking at just really an open topic forum where people can ask questions. And I'll try my best to say, okay, here, here's a general Christian response to that. And from that, we'll build the, the topics we think people are most interested in. And about once a quarter, we're going to get together. We're going to have these conversations. And I think they're very important in this changing world we live in. So hope to see you there Saturday night, 6 o'clock. Seek first to understand.